Yesterday, a man in a black suit left this strange looking device on my doorstep. It appears to be some kind of futuristic brain scanner. Now, I've been writing code for nearly two decades, but one thing I've never done is use my brain. That might be why all of my side projects fail, but today that changes, because today we're going to do something that has never been done before. Instead of coding with my 10 old arthritis riddled fingers, I'm going to give Claude Code full access to my brain waves, with no filters and no safeguards, just raw uncut gamma energy running at 256 hertz is straight from the squishy encephalon inside my skull. The coding agent will then use this data to vibe code a JavaScript app for me on the fly. It's part science experiment, part tech horror movie, and 100% guaranteed to make your privacy lawyer cry. It is November 12, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. I've been on the wait list to get one of Elon's Neuralink brain chips installed, but the reality is that I'll probably get a Tesla Roadster before that happens. Luckily though, if you want to capture and analyze your brain waves, there's a far better alternative that doesn't require invasive robot surgery. It's called the Neurosity Crown, a stylish electroencephalography device that can measure the electrical activity happening in your brain. I made a video about this thing a couple years ago back in the old GPT-4 era, but this time Neurosity was kind enough to sponsor the video and provide me with their latest limited edition device. To understand how this device works though, we first need to learn a little bit about brain science. When you're asleep, your brain is vibing at low frequency delta waves around 2 hertz. As you wake up and chill out, those waves speed up up to alpha mode, roughly 10 hertz. But when you lock in, like solving math problems or cranking out code, your brain shifts into overdrive, gamma waves hitting up to 35 hertz. These gamma waves are where the real magic happens. The wave patterns constantly shift with your focus, mood, stress, and environment, producing a live data stream of your mind's chaos. And that's where the crown comes in. It can literally analyze your brain and detect distinct thought patterns, like that feeling when you bite into a sour lemon, left hand pinch, jumping jacks, mental math and so on. It does this by training its algorithm on your mental signals. All you have to do is think it, relax, repeat about 30 times, and then it's trained to detect your specific thoughts. But now here's the crazy part. They just released an MCP server that can easily connect your brain activity to any AI agent. That means you can let a tool like Claude Code tap into your brain activity and analyze it, or use it as context in any prompt. All you have to do is set up the crown device, then open up Claude Code and add the Neurosity connection. And now your neurologist with 20 years of medical training is completely obsolete because we can just go right into Claude and now analyze our brain waves. Apparently, it determined that my delta and alpha waves were high, which I thought was a good thing, but actually it means I must be half asleep or maybe this whole video is just a dream and nothing is actually real. In either case, now let's have Claude update my portfolio website based on my brain's actual profile. As you can see here, it generated this beautiful dreamlike website that perfectly represents my current vibe. That's cool and all, but the real power comes from the Neurosity SDK, which allows us to tap into our brains programmatically. That means in theory, I could do something like this, where I use Kinesis to subscribe to a thought, like left hand pinch. Whenever that thought occurs, it will run this callback function, and that code could do anything, like turn off a light in your smart home, invest in stocks with a trading API, or even write code for you. Like in this demo, I have a function that will make a call out to the Claude API whenever I think about my left foot. What that will do is send Claude whatever code I've highlighted and tell it to automatically refactor that code. In addition, I can also subscribe to the thought of a sour lemon and have it automatically discard that code if the code sucks. In other words, we're literally vibe coding here. The coding agent's actions are based on our thoughts and our vibes, not our actual commands. I wouldn't say this is the optimal way to write code, but who knows where this technology is going to go in the future. Huge thanks to Neurosity for making this video possible, and get your own crown device using the link below. This has been The Code Report, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.